Hi, welcome back to Learn to Stats. Today we're going to be going over the empirical rule, also called the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule. We're going to go through a few examples, but first let's get into the empirical rule. The empirical rule is an approximation of what goes on with the normal distribution. If you know something is normally distributed, there's this rule to help with understanding how much of the data is where. And so because it's symmetrical, it makes it really easy to just kind of do the math. When you're looking at what's within one standard deviation, you see that on both sides of the mean, there's 34% or 68% total. When you do two standard deviations away from the mean, there's 13.5 in addition to the 34% on each side or 95% total. And when you look at three standard deviations around the mean, you get that extra 2.35 on top of the other two to give you 99.7% of what's around the mean. Having covered that, let's get into our first example. Grades on a test follow a normal distribution with a mean of 85 and a standard deviation of 4. What is the range around the mean that includes 95% of the grades? First, before we answer the test, we need to notate a few things. We know the important aspects of that question, besides stating it's a normal distribution, what the mean is, as well as what the standard deviation is. In the question, you see that 95% is what they're looking for in terms of what, what's covered, uh, what range covers that much. When we review the empirical rule, and we understand that it's two standard deviations that cover 95% of the data. It's just a matter of really just adding and subtracting from the mean. And so we have 85 plus 2 times 4 to give us 93. And then we have 85 minus 2 times 4, which is 77. You would say approximately 95% of the grades are between 77 and 93. And so that's the answer for this question. Uh, let's go on to another question. Birth weights follow a bell-shaped curve with a mean of 3 kilograms and a standard deviation of 0.5. What is the approximate percentage of birth weights between 2.5 kilograms and 3.5 kilograms? So just like before, we have to analyze the, the prompt and the question itself. The prompt says bell-shaped curve. So that indicates to you that it's the normal distribution because that's just another name for the normal distribution. Gaussian distribution may also be used this is probably going to be like in a midterm, so this is like something that gives you that indication if you're a student what's going on here. With a mean of 3 kilograms, so you know that the mean is 3 kilograms, and you know the standard deviation is 0.5 kilograms. At this point, you're just trying to figure out how far 3 kilograms is from 2.5 and 3.5, and in both cases we know it's 0.5 for each. So that means that it's within one standard deviation. And so we would say the range of 2.5 kilograms and 3.5 kilograms approximates 68% of birth weights. The last thing I wanted to go over was a variation of this question because it does come up. You may be asked the same question, except they're, they're going to kind of like trick you in a way. They'll ask you, what is the approximate percentage of birth weights between 3 kilograms and 3.5 kilograms? So they'll purposely put the mean in there. And so for you, it's about understanding how this applies to the empirical rule. And since the empirical rule is a rule based on the normal distribution, the normal distribution is symmetrical. So you know that from before, 2.5 to 3.5 colors covers 68%. So if I'm just looking at plus one standard deviation, instead of minus one to plus one standard deviation, does that just cut it in half and I have 34%? The answer is yes, that is exactly how that works. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I, I really do hope that you enjoyed this. If you thought it was helpful, uh, please like and share this. It really does help a lot. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.